Hello guys, today let's talk about Composer and specifically about the versions of the packages you use in your Composer JSON because there are a few different syntax ways how to tell the same thing. So in one of my previous videos I was doing Composer update and in Composer JSON you see a caret sign here and for other packages as well and one of you had a question below this video. The question is this, you spoke about this sign in Composer, what about that sign? And also there's asterisk. Another way of writing kind of the same thing, but is it the same? Let's take a look at the Composer documentation. For some context, this is what we'll be talking about, this sign. I've just installed Laravel version, new Laravel project just today. Currently it's 9.33. So this is what has been installed by Laravel new with Laravel installer. And this is shown by my PHP storm, what was actually installed as a new version. So this syntax means Laravel 9.33, not point 0.19. This is interesting. And let's take a look at the Composer documentation for that. And in Composer documentation, there's a section about versions and constraint. And if we scroll down a bit, we have writing version constraints. And here are all syntax options. You can provide a specific version which would never get updated. So even if you run Composer update, it will not get updated. Then you can specify the versions like bigger than 1.0 or something like this or similar syntax range between, but I have rarely seen such syntax in the real life projects. I've seen this one, however, quite often. It basically means 1.0 point anything. So if there is a new version 1.0.1 released, it will get updated. But for version 1.1, it will not get downloaded. Then the tilde version. I'm not sure how to pronounce that word tilde or tilde. Not sure. Put it in the comments below if you know that. I'm too lazy to Google that myself, to be honest. Anyway, if you put that sign here, it means one point anything and the same as this syntax. And from what I remember in earlier Laravel versions before 5.8, there was specifically this syntax used because all the releases of 5.5, 5.6, they came every six months and they were considered major versions. So that's why it was kind of risky to upgrade 5.5 to 5.6 without spending more time on it. So that's another version and it was used, as I said, in earlier Laravel versions. But now we have a caret version. What does that mean and what is the difference? Caret, basically, if you put in this, it means anything above this specific version, but below the next major version. And there's kind of an agreement in open source that the major version is the first number and those two are minor versions. Or it's more like the second number is minor version and the third number is like patch or fix or something really small. Which is exactly what is happening in Laravel, by the way, since version 6. They moved into so-called Semver, semantic versioning, from what I remember it's called. So every six months we have Laravel 8, Laravel 9, and there will be Laravel 10 probably sometime in February 2023 or something. Then we have minor versions every week, every Tuesday, and then there are fixes or patches if they need that, the release, for example, 9.33.1. So to visualize the differences between all of those, there's a good summary here. So for example, if you put in caret with 1.3.2, it would be the same as having 8.0.2, which means 8 point whatever until the next major version of PHP 9. And also kind of like a separate tip if you want to update your packages, for example, to update Laravel framework, I usually run Composer update in my videos, in my recent videos, but as Dave Lemons reminded me in one of my comments on the same video, it's safer to run Composer update for a specific package. So for example, if I run, and even before that, you can check whether there are new versions for all of the packages that you use. So for example, in one of my demo projects, I can run Composer outdated. This is the syntax and it checks all the packages and let's see what it shows. It takes five seconds or so, but this is the summary. So this is the version I currently have and there is a new version released. And then from that list, I can choose which one to update. Some of them are dependencies of each other. So even if I run Composer update Laravel framework, it may update those as well. Actually, let's do exactly that and try it out. Composer update Laravel framework. And let's see which ones are updated. Laravel framework and nothing else actually, just a framework. So if we run that again, Composer outdated, 
probably everything else will stay in the list and just Laravel framework will be gone from here. Yes, exactly. So you just update one package without touching others. That's it for this video. But if you want more videos and you want to support me on this channel doing free videos, check out my courses on my newly relaunched LaravelDaily.com. In the courses, you'll have a list of a lot of courses and also you will have access to premium articles if you subscribe for the membership yearly or monthly. By doing that, you're supporting this YouTube channel as well. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.